Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in today's project, we're gonna be making two different kinds of candle holders. So let's jump right into the project. Let me show you what we're using. So I got these uh, strips of stickers at the in the crafters square section. Well, we don't have a section, but there the crafters items are coming into our Dollar Tree. So I grabbed one of these. Then we're gonna be using uh, the white satin ribbon. This you can get at the Dollar Tree, and that's what that looks like. Okay. Now, um, we are also going to be using the rose mesh. Now, this rose mesh I got on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can get this at Totally Dazzle, so we're going to be using that. Okay, we are going to be using the marble contact paper, and I got this at Walmart. Okay. Now, my Dollar Tree got two different or three different sizes of the pearl packets. Um, this is the first time I saw them, so I grabbed some. These must be the medium ones, so we're going to be using these in our project. And we're going to be using some recyclable items that I went ahead and spray painted. So anything that we're using to create this project is down in the description box below. Uh, if I missed anything, and so let's jump right into the project. Okay. So we're going to be working with this candle holder first. Again, I am using recyclable items and uh, I went ahead and I spray painted them in the aluminum silver. I don't have the can in front of me, but uh, that can of paint I did get at Walmart. So this is the color that we'll be working with today. Okay, and it's called aluminum. And then we have one of these tea candle holders that I got at the Dollar Tree also. All of these things are readily available there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, okay, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to decorate the rim of this jar first, and then we're going to go ahead and place the contact paper on there. All right. We're going to do this. Okay. So what I would like to do is I'm going to place around the rim of the jar, this rose mesh kind of to camouflage the top of this jar. Okay. Just got to get this last one down. Once we glue this down, this is what we have. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Okay. So now... Uh, I'm going to move that out of the way and try to use, I think, I don't think I need to hold that down because I want you guys to be able to see. So now I already pre-cut the strip of where I wanted it in the, on the center of that jar. So let's pull that up. And so we want to work very carefully and little by little so we can smooth stuff out as we're laying it down.
okay and as we lay it down we're going to go smoothing it out and we want to stay in the center so you want to make sure that as you're doing this you are staying in the center okay then you roll that pull some of the paper then use your fingers to smooth that out Oops. See, this is what I mean. So we don't want to move too quickly. Kind of want to move with the paper so we don't get those wrinkles. And then what we need to make sure is that our end result is meeting up over here. Okay? Okay, so we smooth that out with our hands as we're going along here because the idea is to make it I lay as flat as possible as we're going around and then now I'm going to show you something first of all we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this excess okay we're going to cut that excess off Okay, and because I already see that we have an uneven mark here, we're not even going to worry about that because I'm gonna we're gonna cover that with some bling wrap. So this is the end result here, and like I said, if you use your fingers and you go back and forth, you will smooth that out. See what I mean? And this is what you should have. This is what that's looking like so far okay okay guys so what we're going to do here is I decided to go ahead and add some bling wrap to this uh, to this project so what we're gonna do I'm trying to find out the beginning and the end of this so we're gonna kind of start out right here where we see this flaw right here so no need to panic when there's a flaw or any kind it didn't work out the way you wanted to we can go ahead and fix that so we're going to use some bling wrap. This bling wrap, you can go ahead and get this at the Dollar Tree also. So now what we want to do is first we're going to create a border on the top of that paper. Okay. And all this is going to do is just give it some more bling anyway, and we, we don't have no objections to that. So you just want to just lay the bling wrap down. Don't touch it because I don't want you guys to get burned with that hot glue. Okay, just put that last dab right there and we are going to lay that down okay guys so this is what that looks like so far now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom We want to start in the same place where we started the other one. A little bit of hot glue, and then we're going to lay this down. And see, and there's a bottom rim there. I don't know if you can tell. There's a bottom rim, 
with these kind of edging right there. So that helps us to stay uh, in line with that rim. Okay, so we'll put some hot glue. Okay. And that's what that looks like so far. Isn't that nice? We'll go ahead and clean this up before I display it. So that's what we are so far. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna run a little bit of this bling wrap here, one strip right here to cover that seam, okay? Okay guys, so now this part of the jar is already, uh, it's already done. Isn't that beautiful? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the actual stand because we are gonna place this on a stand like this. So let's put this aside because we're done working with that. And now what I'm gonna do here is because I absolutely love working with pearls uh, we're going to just put a few pearls inside of this uh, this tea light dish candle holder. We shouldn't need more than like three or four. Okay, that kind of takes uh, draws the attention to the jar when you're working with it. Now, because I already pre uh, I already laid this over the jar, I already know exactly where the glue needs to lay. Okay, and we're gonna use this exact rim that you see here. Okay. So we're gonna using the fix all adhesive and the hot glue so we can lay this down and because we want this to be permanent with I don't want this to fall apart in the middle of an event. <laughs> so Okay guys, so let's go around. Now normally I don't like mixing the glues. Okay, so I am just gonna put just a dab on each side here. And that's just to hold it. Okay, then we're gonna flip that over. We want to make sure we get it right on that rim. Hold that for a second. Now the nice part about this jar here, okay, it, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these rose mesh on the bottom here. The nice part about this jar is that you can either put a candle in it or you can go ahead and display some uh, a small some flowers in it. You can put anything basically you want on it. I'm just gonna kind of to blend the the candle stand with the rest of the top of this jar. I put some rose mesh on there. Okay guys, so this is what this is what we have. Okay. Okay guys, so um like I said, this is what the end result is. 
Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And what, how we're going to display it today is we're going to go ahead and place some magnolias in there, which by the way, I got at the Dollar Tree also. Now everything I use to make this craft is in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and clear this area so I can display this for you. Um, again, uh, click like if you like the video, share the video if you like it, comment below, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.